That's the rundown, everybody. Thank you so much. We will see you tomorrow. Oh, bro, we didn't talk about you going on, uh, what's it called? Jesse Waters? Yeah. It's okay. I go on it all the time. Yeah? How was it going this on my Jesse fourth Waters? Appearance. Oh, yeah, that was last. Last I night. didn't catch this one. What was, last night. what was the it topic? Was okay. What was the topic? Well, he wanted to be, talk about how Democrats in Massachusetts want to lower the voting age to 16. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, I just did like I was trying to do like some. I did a to catch a predator joke. Um, QAnon. I had a QAnon reference in there. Pizza. Pizza yeah. Gate type. It was a little like stammery, and I just couldn't get my feet under me, and I was like. I'm trying too hard. I don't know what they wanted me to do. They wanted me to take like this subway bingo card down into the subway and be like, ask random strangers, have you seen a, a rat? Fill out your bingo card. Thing. Yeah. And it was like so stupid. Let you write it. I know. That's Barstool host Francis Ellis talking about an appearance he had on Jesse Waters' show, which apparently is a somewhat semi-regular appearance that he had. And he's talking about some of those bits they want him to do. He said to go on and tell some jokes. This was off. The record, they had just ended their show. These are things that they were saying within what they thought was within themselves. The hot mic continued as they then start talking about Tucker Carlson and the network in general. Here's the juiciness, <laughs> let's go to this. But uh, but what if they offered you not just a, a segment, but what if they're like, Francis, we want you to do the eight o'clock to nine o'clock hour. Well, yeah, I mean, then that would be, I'd have to have a conversation with Dave for sure. Like, yeah. hey, I have a full time job being offered to me. Fox News. Yeah. No, but I look, you I got consider. home, I talked to my wife about it because I was disappointed in myself. Nah, and nah. she was like, let's be honest. Like, do you want to be working with these people? She was like, I watched the rest of his show and like the stuff that he, it, he's a joke. There is still part of the rundown. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he's still rolling, baby. <laughs> like that, and then like Tucker comes on and just screams. Like, what's going on? <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. it's, it's so pretty good, yeah. weird. That Doesn't that make w- sense to me. Doesn't make sense to you. <laughs> Shouldn't. Fox News contributor Francis Ellis and his buddies talking about the way Tucker Carlson says. Don't you think something's wrong? I'm just asking the questions. Everyone knows how Tucker Carlson and the Fox News crew is, even folks that go on there to discuss. And in fact, he was a little bit worried that maybe he's contributing to the division in the country. There's a conscience there. Let's watch more. They're just trafficking in hate. That's what I mean. Like, what if they offer you a, a traffic cop position? Direct the hate traffic. But you're in a, in a capacity where you are very clearly taking a comedic route. So it's, it's. I don't know, bro. People are dumb. Dude, People last night like I think I think last night I went into a place that I shouldn't have gone to. <laughs> no, you're too harsh on yourself. No, yeah, because you know. last night I was like, yes, the Democrats are like eating children beneath pizza shops. Yeah, but that obviously is there like are a people meme. watching that who don't know that I'm. With them. Yeah, what are you going to be? They're like, what, thank what, you. What are They're you? like, finally. <laughs> are you a, a, a young, handsome person is saying it. Are you Jesus? What are you going to fix everybody? Come on, bro. You're there You're there to tell jokes. I'm not here to fix people, but I'm certainly not here to like stoke the flame. Yeah. Divide the country. <laughs> Miranda, I see you shaking your head. Uh, there's lots here. In fact, I feel like I've stacked up so much. First off, I just like that he said. I mean, I'm this good looking guy. I mean, now you got a good young looking guy on this show. Like, bro, calm down. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> I get it. You know, self confidence. Yeah. What's, what's going on? Your thoughts I on just, this? You know, it's bad when the people in the media who are spreading the lies and fear mongering to you are the ones who go home and say to their friends and their partners, Wow, I can't believe I'm pumping out this bull crap to people. And then they actually have a moment, you know, behind the scenes where they, feel bad about it and they're like, I think I'm contributing to the massive amounts of evil in this world. Maybe I, you know what, maybe I should not head down this road. And I, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to change a lot of right wingers minds. I think they're gonna come up with all sorts of reasons why you know, to discredit him and reasons why you know they never actually liked him and they knew he was bad news um, because they're so locked into their cultish ideals. Um, but for the rest of us, it's just so obvious and it's nice to see you know, this mistakenly being leaked about how like they actually feel. And some of them are like, yeah, I do this because it pays. Um, 
but I don't think I really believe in it. And his wife, do you really want to work with these people? And you can tell he's like, nah, but this is the job that I have. But mortgages do, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 what we always imagine. And the question always comes, is it worse that folks who believe in the BS that they're saying on these types of shows? Or is it the folks who uh, who don't believe it, but still say it anyway? You know, like I'm not really racist, I just pal around with them and I associate and bring up all their points and laugh about it and tell jokes. As a matter of fact, let's watch a little bit of that appearance. This is what this is the appearance on the Jesse Waters show that they were talking about that he felt a little odd about. And his wife said, why are you messing with these losers? Watch. Let's turn to Francis Ellis, comedian and barstool writer. What the hell is wrong with Boston? Jesse, look, I'm a fan of Boston. I went to Harvard, spent four <laughs> years there, Cambridge, technically. Haven't heard of that. Had to get that in there. But now I have to say, this is very disheartening. I mean, you know, what's next, right? Soon, as you said, they're gonna be, they're gonna be, why don't we just form our own child militia? <laughs> Seems to be working in Africa. Who says we haven't done that already? I don't know, I don't know. My old friend Q might have something to say about that. <laughs> I, I used to just go get pizza at this place, but now we go down to the basement and train. Stop it. You know, look, you're right. There is a big gulf between 16 and 18. And anyone who says to you, you know, what's the real difference anyway between 16 and 18? That person's liable to find themselves talking to Chris Hansen <laughs> on the set of To Catch a Predator. That's the jokes were a plenty. And again, think about it. He said, I was just there to tell jokes and maybe I shouldn't have done this and thought that way. He goes, no one really believes this, do they? That's the thought process when folks go on and, and, and push the narrative like that. And they go, there's no way people really believe it. They know I'm just effing with them, right? Have you seen any of the interviews that Michael Schur has done for two weeks? Have you seen the good liars come to some of these rallies, the Trump rallies and, and Walker rallies and supporters of all these folks? They believe it, Miranda. Have you seen it in person yourself? <laughs> You're in well, Ohio. <laughs> I am in Ohio. I have, and I am in a very, very red, very you know Trump-esque area, and I, I have seen it. And it's funny that you know they're talking about what this could possibly lead to when you know they're the same people who are arguing against unions that bust child labor and things like that. So that you you can tell that it's just so they don't care about the children. Actually, they don't actually care. They just want talking points, right? And that's he's saying he doesn't believe it. I'm just throwing out talking points. I throw out QAnon, something, this and that. I throw out, you know, underground below the pizza shop. And so, yeah, people do believe it. I've talked about this on my videos on the breakdown. When you have people with a platform, people are going to listen. That's what a platform is. You're the leader, you are a thought leader. And when you're leading thoughts like that, yeah, people are going to believe it. That's and you would think that's the goal, but it's just to tell empty jokes and hope that it just lands on no one's ears. And I think he's beginning to realize that it's landing. Also, what was that kids and militia kids in Africa joke? Who cares? Let's just talk about Africans, and then we'll get a, definitely get a laugh out of Fox News hosts. That's for sure. Works out every time.